This short webinar is a part of the God's Providences in American History series and it's called Blessings and Corrections. George Mason said this, as nations cannot be rewarded or punished in the next world, they must be in this, by an inevitable chain of causes and effects. Providence punishes national sins by national calamities. This is echoes of John Witherspoon's remarks in a 1776 sermon where his summary theme was divine providence appears as beneficial to servants of God and as judgmental and corrective to those warring against God. Well, there's principles in providence. There's a universal truth of sowing and reaping that applies to individuals and nations. You will reap what you sow. A nation's cultural health will reflect the ideas it has put into practice. Additionally, God can be observed to be an active agent in a nation's life. Nations that follow his principles experience his providential protection and care, and nations that discard him experience an increase in chaos and decay. Deuteronomy 28 has a great summary of what this looks like. It was specific to the nation of Israel, but it also has universal application to nations today. If you fully obey the Lord your God and carefully follow all his commands I give you today, all these blessings will come upon you and accompany you if you obey the Lord your God. The Lord your God will set you high above all the nations on the earth. The blessings will include blessed in the city and blessed in the country, blessed as you come and as you go. Your children will be blessed, your land, barns, crops, livestock, and your food will be blessed. Your work, your creativity, everything you put your hand to, your prosperity, your finances, all these things will be blessed, your national security included. You will lend to many nations, but will borrow from none. Your enemies be defeated before you. Peoples on earth will see that you are called by the name of the Lord, and they will fear you. The Lord will make you the head, not the tail. And the Lord will establish you as a holy people, as he promised you on oath, if you keep the commandments of the Lord your God and walk in his ways. In summary, a nation that follows after God will see his providential blessing and protection in their national life. Well, what would the opposite be? However, if you do not obey the Lord your God and do not carefully follow all his commands and decrees I'm giving you today, all these curses will come upon you and overtake you. You'll experience failure in the city and in the country as you come and as you go. Your children, your land, your barns, your crops, your livestock, and your food will be in decay. Your work, your creativity, everything you put your hand to will suffer. Your prosperity, your finances, your national security. And here's a key sentence. Confusion, anxious minds, eyes weary with longing, and a despairing heart will be a part of your national experience. The alien who lives among you will rise above you higher and higher, but you will sink lower and lower. He will lend to you, but you will not lend to him. He will be the head, but you will be the tail. Sudden ruin because of all the evil you have done in forsaking him will come upon you. You will become a thing of horror and an object of scorn and a ridicule to all nations. These failures will be a sign and a wonder to you and your descendants forever, and it will be because you did not serve the Lord your God joyfully and gladly in your time of prosperity. In summary, a nation that turns its back on God should not expect his favor, his providential aid, or his protection. You indeed will reap what you sow. And as John Witherspoon said, divine providence appears as beneficial to servants of God and as judgmental and corrective to those warring against God. This is indeed something to think about. This is Christian Civics Training. Thanks for listening.